Hey folks and welcome to our last tutorial of this series. Today we will talk about the project maintenance, archiving your scenes or your project and deploying your presentations. So first let's talk about scene archiving. You can access the dialog via clicking on file, then export and scene archive. You will then be asked where to save your VZA file that will be created afterwards. Just click on save and then you will be asked which resources that are linked by some nodes should be included in the archive. When you clicked or unclicked everything that you want or don't want, just click on OK and you're done. You can now simply copy and paste this file wherever you want. You can copy it onto a new machine, into a new project or give it to someone else who wants to use it. So when you want to import a scene archive into your project, you will need to click on file then import and scene archive again. So now you have to choose which VZA file you want to import. So choose your file, click on open, and Ventus will automatically copy all the needed files in the archive into your project structure and open the scene. But you cannot only export your scenes, but also the whole project. To do so, you will have to enter the project maintenance. You can access it by closing all open scenes, and then open it, for example, via this little icon over here and click on Project Maintenance. So here you have a list of all the resources that are used by the scenes of your project. For example, the repositories or the scenes, the textures, the geometries or whatever you used in your project. So before you archive your project, you will most likely want to clean it up a little. So to do so, you will simply have to click or check all the items you want to keep and uncheck everything that you want. When you're done, just click on this little clean button down here and Ventus will automatically move all the unchecked items to the recycle bin. If you have some issues, Ventus will show them in different colors. So. When you have an error like a resource is not found or not readable or an unknown error occurs, the information will be displayed in red. And when you have some issue like the resource is duplicated in this project or something similar, it will be displayed in blue. Since we don't have any issues in this project, we can now archive it. Click on the Archive button down here and choose the location that you want the VPA file to be created. Click on Save and you're done. Now you can copy and paste the file you just created onto a new machine that you want to use the project on. To extract the archive over there, you can simply open it with the Ventus Designer. So Ventus will now search for the project on your machine that you want to extract the archive on. And if it finds any, it will ask you whether to simply open the existing project or to save the new project anyways. So when you want to open the new project, it will ask you where to save it. And when you click OK, you're done. You may also create a project template instead of a project archive by simply renaming the VPA file to a VPT file. So the project archive completely stays the same, but Ventus will handle it a little different. So when you now open the project template, Ventus will ask you to change the name, the description, the author, the copyright and so on. And you will then may click OK. Now let's take a look at how to export your presentations. First, you will want to review the ready to use presentation scene in your runtime layout and so on before you create the presentation file. So just check if everything works just fine. And when it does, you can just start to export the scene. When you're sure that everything works just fine, you will have to click on file, then export again and on presentation. Here you can choose the location where to save the presentation file and name it 
accordingly. So you will be asked again which resources to include in the archive. Now you can click on OK and you're done. Before you now start your presentation on your producing machine, you will most likely want to make sure that nothing can interrupt it like Windows updates or the Windows notifications. So when you're done, you will simply have to open the VPR file in the Ventus runtime. So this is our presentation now. It is just the same like the scene we built earlier and will behave just the same. So you can, for example, interact with it like in the preview window in the Ventus Designer. When you're now done presenting it, you can simply close it like any other application in Windows with, for example, killing the process, ending the task or using Alt F4. Okay, this is it about the project maintenance and the deployment of your presentations. So this was the last tutorial of this series. I hope you enjoyed it a lot and learned from it. So now you will most likely want to practice what you learned or read more on the advanced topics in our user manual, try out the how-tos there or just finally start with your own project. When you need further help you can simply search the user manual or ask us in the Ventus forum. So I hope you will have a lot of fun with Ventus and it will become helpful for you. So hopefully we will see you soon.